Hi guys, welcome back to another edition of Facebook Live Balls and Strikes. Uh, today we've got some really, really good drills. Before we get into that though, um, just want to talk a little bit about baseball and camps and Cardinals. So uh, maybe you guys know, but this Sunday, uh, opening day, so uh, it's getting on us fast and uh, it should be a great game. Um, obviously Cubs, you know, World Series last year and Dexter Fowler coming over to the Cardinals. So um, we're really looking forward to it here being a uh, Cardinals fan and we actually have a Royals fan right here so Go uh, so yeah so but nonetheless it'll be fun um, and then a little bit about camps here guys um, once again that pre-registration deadline it's coming up um, it's going to end on March 31st um, so if you haven't registered for camps such as Top Gun World Series uh, opening day camp make sure to sign up for those either online or give us a call 636-394-2255 and you can find our website link um, in our Facebook page. So go ahead and you can go ahead and click on that and then um, start with your registration right there. Absolutely. So, but it'll be interesting to see Dexter Fowler in a Cardinals yeah. uniform. And he's Cubs. looked good in spring training. He's looked really good. <clears throat> yep. Yep. It'll be interesting to see what Colton Wong and all that, that drama that's going on with him. So we'll see how that plays out. Yep, for sure. But, so let's get right into the drills today. So today's whole focus is pitch recognition. Um, when you're going good as a hitter, and all of us were hitters, so we know when you're going really well, the ball looks like a beach ball. Um, when you're not, it looks like a golf ball. Um, and a lot of that's just seeing the baseball out of the pitcher's hand. So we've got three drills to help with that. The first one here, you've probably never seen this before, uh, but this is called the black glove drill. And what you're gonna do is, as a coach, or if you're the BP pitcher or front toss pitcher, you're gonna put on a black batting glove. So make sure it's completely black or just a black glove. I have an Under Armour glove right here. Um, and, and the whole point of this, guys, is to make sure there's a contrast between the ball and the glove. So what you're gonna have is, if you're throwing BP <coughs> or front toss, you're gonna have that black glove on, and the, the hitter is gonna actually see it right out of the hand because, as you can see, the ball is white, my glove's black. Now, from here, okay, I can see the ball a lot better. I can really focus on picking up the release point of the pitcher, if that makes sense. So. And this is being creative. It's not like um, it's kind of kind of thinking about it. Um, you got you got this from Turtle Thomas. Yeah. Um, watch, watching his FIU. yeah, watching his videos. And Turtle is a very well known hitting, um, coach. hitting coach. And so this is just being creative and kind of thinking outside the box here. So let's let's go ahead and see what see how it goes. Okay. So the first drill will be the black glove drill. So let's get right into that. We've got, actually got three drills for you today. Um, so this one, off of front toss, like I said, you can do this with BP or um, soft toss or front toss. Here we go. Just seeing it, right? Yep, just seeing it right out of my hand. After Ryan's done hitting a couple, we'll talk to him in terms of what he's seeing as a hitter. In terms of, does the ball look bigger out of the hand with me wearing a black glove? One more here. He's focused on picking up the release point. Good. Okay, Ryan, you yes. were the hitter there. What, what was different from, say, a normal release point of a pitcher? Without was it easier? Glove? Yeah. Front toss or without the glove? Yeah, without the glove. Without the glove? Um, coming from this down here a little bit, it obviously changes up your right. your sight and your angle of what you're looking at the pitch. So Absolutely. you obviously have to concentrate on a little bit more. But with the glove on, it allows the ball to stick out a little bit more, so it helps you zone in on it. And yeah. Kind of it seems like it'd be a great drill for um, the little guys. Would you Absolutely. say so? I um, would say. I mean, yes, even high school guys. Even high school guys having trouble finding, but around finding the ball. Like, I mean, a lot of times it's it's a timing issue, but it could be one of those things where it's um, it's more of like I can't really see the ball. So thinking creative outside the box, um, really, really, really. Yeah, absolutely. And we talk a lot about. What's the most important thing in hitting? And, and there's a lot of different uh, arguments there. But in reality, if a guy is blindfolded or uh, can't see the baseball, it doesn't matter so much what his swing is. So seeing the baseball is the number one thing in hitting. And I feel like if you can really uh, hone in on that and come up with some good drills, it can really help you out. <clears throat> so let's get right into our second uh, drill here. Drill, we've talked about this before. The two most important aspects of a hitter is his barrel and his eyes so um, last time we talked more about the barrel and we talked about and then we talked a little bit about the eyes this week it's all about the eyes absolutely and so the second drill is called green dot red dot drill um, so kind of going off of you know a stoplight right um, red stop 
green, you're going to go. Okay? Um, so it kind of makes sense here, and, and most hitters will understand this. But we just call these, these are our tracking baseballs. And as you can see, I've got basically every side of the ball with a dot. So green right here, and then red right here. Okay? Now, here's what's going to happen. Ryan's going to be hitting. The whole point here is to pick up the baseball out of my hand. If he sees red, he's going to take. If he sees green, he's going to swing. Okay? Um, so this is working once again on recognizing the, the baseball out of the hand. And he, if he's not completely focused outwardly on that baseball, if he's focused at all on his mechanics, he's not going to pick up the dot. Uh, because these are pretty small dots. So the whole ball is not green, the whole ball is not red. All you need to do is basically get a Sharpie and then put dots around the ball. And you'll see this drill um, done different ways. So sometimes yeah. they'll do green, red, and blue, and then the player has to call out what they hit. Um, this, is, this is something that I have never seen. I think this is very creative from Josh's standpoint. Um, actually saying you take a pitch if it's red, and you hit a pitch if it's green. So it makes them even track it even further. Also, there's technology out there too where <clears throat> there's a ball that actually lights up when you hit it. Um, I think it's called, what's it called, Ryan? Eye on, uh, eye on the ball. Eye on, yeah, the ball. eye on the ball. So um, there's technology out there for that as well. So let's go ahead and start into it. Absolutely. Although notice though, when I do take a pitch, I'm not going to be flat-footed. Right. So I'm expecting to hit every ball that Josh is going to be throwing to me and until every, I pick yeah, it up. Everybody should it. pick up on that because Ryan brought up a great point. As a hitter, you always want to think yes, 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 no, and then take. Okay. So let's watch Ryan here. Watch his swings, but also watch how he takes a pitch. Good. That one was green, and I'm going to mix these up. Red. Could you see that red? So as a coach, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you give the hitter instant feedback on that and give him the correct answer if he was correct or if he was wrong. Yep. Green. That one was green. That was green. Very good. That was red. All right. And see how he took those. So that, that's another big point that Ryan has, and we come from the same mold because we went to college together. But when he takes a pitch on those red pitches, his legs are engaged. Right. They are absolutely going after it. And Josh comes from the same mold too because he came from uh, the same type of hitting approach that we did, is that when you're, when you're, when you're attacking a pitch, attacking it, you want to attack with your legs first, then your hands go last. If your hands are back and in that launch position, you still have a fighting chance. Absolutely. I agree. Any good hitter, the majority of their power is going to come from their legs and their core. And so if you can have your legs engaged, and when somebody says use your legs, you can tell a lot of that by just how a guy takes a pitch. Like Spiker was saying, if he's in his legs and he's starting that backside, he's got a really good chance. So let's move on to our third pitch recognition drill. So our last drill here. This is called front eye closed. Um, this can help in a lot of ways. One, as a hitter, sometimes, especially younger hitters, you'll see them look over their nose. Or they'll be like this or they'll be tilted back. And so one of the things that this can do is, one, it's going to help their posture because he's going to actually close his front eye. We call this front eye closed drill. And it makes you get both eyes on the pitcher. I know... Um, this is a little bit far back, but Mark McGuire, when he was going for his 70 home runs, one of the big things that he changed with his approach and his stance, and you could even tell when he would get in there, he would make sure to have literally his whole head completely turned so he could pick up on that baseball. And so, so many kids are looking with really one and a half eyes or just one eye right here. They're not looking correctly like this, and it makes everything get a lot clearer um, and it makes the ball look a lot bigger. So go ahead and give give those two options. So go ahead and get in your stance. Yeah. Show the one and a half eyes and then two eyes. Here would be one and a half. So see how I'm kind of looking over my nose right here? Say if Spiker was the pitcher and I'm right here, okay? Yeah, I can see the baseball, but not that clear. And any, any time we have to pick up the baseball is going to help us. Maybe you know this, maybe you don't, but you've got about .4 seconds from the time the pitcher releases it to the time it crosses home plate to put a good swing on the ball. And so we want to capitalize on that. Now here would be option two. See the difference here compared to here. Here, 
And that's why this drill is going to really help with that. So, Ryan, let's see you do this here. Okay. Can you head open or? Yeah, so what you're going to have is your front eye is going to be closed. Okay? And he's just going to have his back eye open. Good. And it makes him really pick up the base one, make sure his posture is good. And he has both eyes, everything facing the pitcher here. How you? He's going to take one more with the front eye closed, and then he's going to open both of them back up. Okay, now open them back up. And when you open them, it's kind of like a bat weight. Um, taking off a bat weight, the bat feels a lot lighter. It's the same thing here with the eyes. Now he's got both, it should look like a beach ball. Good, one more here. Good. So as you saw right there, that's an excellent drill to help with pitch recognition. And if anybody's been following Mizzou baseball, actually, I know on SEC Network they talked about one of the big changes with their approach hitting-wise was just focusing on pitch recognition. I'm not exactly sure what drills that entails. Uh, maybe it's some of these. Or maybe, technology. They yeah, maybe the it's technology. totally different drills. But I'm a big believer in pitch recognition. I think as much as you know, mechanics can be great, I think if you can really pick up the, the baseball out of the hand, especially as you get older, um, it can just give you that edge. What you'll find is um, some of these drills, they, they work for your team, and then some of the drills, they, they won't work. Um, but it's just trying to find those great mixture of drills that you feel comfortable with. Um, more drills that you can see are on the Rawlings Tigers YouTube channel. We did some drills for that um, with bottle caps and uh, lima beans. And yeah, those are really yeah, good. Yeah, so it's trying to find those drills that help you actually just to see the, see the baseball and um, make it seem like a beach ball. Because, again, this is the hardest sport to play because you're dealing with really, really small objects. Yeah, so, and, a, and a small amount of time yep. trying, to, trying to square up a round ball. Around yeah, very, very hard, very, very hard. So, any other things that you would like to mention before we sign off? Uh, just in terms of our camps, guys, um, they're going to be great. And uh, if you haven't checked any of those out, you know, yet, uh, make sure to check those out. Um, also, lessons. Um, you know, this week there's going to be a lot of rain, so if you're looking to get some practice time in, uh, run a cage, or if you want to get some lessons, you know, at the start of your season, just to fine tune things. We've got plenty of instructors available, but uh, we're, we're looking forward to seeing you, and uh, the camps will be here before we know it. Yep. Um, I'm Spiker Helms. This is Josh Herrick, and that is Ryan Rowmiller. If you'd like to take lessons with us, just call up. Um, also, please share this video. Um, we, we're very passionate about this. Uh, we just, we're just trying to give out as much information yeah, as we possibly can. Yeah, if you have any can, questions, let to us help, know. Yeah, to help you have a successful season. So, anything else you want to say, Ryan? Nope, we're good. Thanks, All right. guys. <laughs> Go Cards. Yep.